Today, we'll talk about color mixer and point color in Camera Raw. If you're using Lightroom, it works almost the same. Both belong to Adobe and share the same logic. When you open Color Mixer, you'll see eight color channels. Red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, blue, purple, magenta. These correspond to eight directions on the 12-color wheel, spaced evenly at 45 degrees each. The Color Mixer allows us to adjust three main properties of every color, hue, saturation, and luminance. Luminance controls brightness. The higher the luminance, the brighter the color becomes. When you increase it too much, the color loses saturation and fades to white. You can see that the green area on the wheel is starting to turn white. Hold Alt while dragging the slider to preview which areas are being affected. Gray zones mean no change. If you lower luminance too much, the color also loses saturation and turns black. So, luminance directly affects saturation. Next is saturation. If you decrease it too low, the color will fade into gray. Try setting the slider to minus 100. The blue section instantly becomes gray. Increase it, and the color gets richer and more vivid. You can also hold Alt to clearly see the affected areas. Now let's look at hue. Hue changes the nature of a color. It shifts its position on the color wheel. All eight colors in the color mixer are evenly distributed around the circle. When you move the red hue left or right, it only shifts about 45 degrees around its original point. The same applies to purple and every other color. They all move within that 45 degree range. This small icon on the right is the color picker tool. You can click it, then choose any color area in your image and adjust its hue, saturation, or luminance directly. As you drag the sliders, Camera Raw automatically detects and affects only that color range. When you select saturation, it only affects the saturation of that color. And when you select luminance, it only affects the brightness, nothing else. Example 1. I want this image to shift to an orange-black tone. So I'll keep only three colors, red, yellow, and orange, because they all belong to the warm golden range. First. Reduce the saturation of every other color. Now, only red, orange, and yellow remain. Their hue range sits within 45 degrees, so we can easily push them all toward orange. Drag red hue toward orange, then yellow hue toward orange. Looking at the color wheel, the photo now contains just two main tones, orange and black. Finally, raise contrast slightly to deepen the image and bring out the light. The result is a clean, elegant orange-black tone with a luxurious golden feel. Example 2. Now let's try converting this photo into orange and teal. Use the color picker and select the target color directly. Watch the color wheel as you adjust. Shift the red hue right. Turns to orange. Shift the blue hue, left arrow, turns to cyan. Then lower saturation slightly for purple and green to balance the tone. Now the image clearly turns into an orange-teal color scheme with just a few smooth slider moves. Camera Raw also includes a highly precise color adjustment tool, Point Color. Unlike HSL, which works with eight fixed color channels, Point Color lets you directly select any color in your image and adjust it individually. When you click on the image, Camera Raw will analyze and detect the color range around that point and display a color swatch representing it inside the point color panel. In this panel, you'll find four main sliders. Hue changes the color tone of that selected area. As you drag the slider, you'll see the color preview on the right change. That's the target color you're shifting toward. Saturation, similar to HSL. It controls the intensity or vividness of that selected color. Luminance, adjusts the brightness of that area making it lighter or darker depending on the direction you drag. The variance slider controls how wide the affected color range spreads. Increasing variance separates nearby hues, creating stronger color contrast. Decreasing variance pulls similar hues closer together, making the color smoother and more uniform. To better visualize it, enable the range overlay icon in the panel. You'll see gray areas for parts not affected and colored highlights showing exactly where the adjustment applies. Below that, You'll see the range section with three sliders, hue range, saturation range, and luminance range. These sliders let you fine-tune the exact boundaries of the affected color. For example, 
If you only want to adjust bright areas without touching the shadows, simply narrow the luminance range. Or, if you need to limit the effect to a narrower hue band, you can reduce the hue range to make it more precise. Example 3. Let's say you have a landscape photo where the grass looks yellowish and doesn't match the overall green tone. First, turn on before slash after view for easier comparison. Use the point color tool and click on the yellow patch of grass. Then, enable range overlay to visualize the affected color area. Now start adjusting. Hue. Drag slightly until the yellow grass shifts to a natural green tone. Saturation. Increase slightly to make the green look more vivid. Luminance. Fine-tune the brightness so the grass looks balanced. Next, lower the variance to unify nearby shades of grass, making all greens blend smoothly across the frame. Adjust hue a bit more if needed until the yellow tint completely disappears. Then toggle Range Overlay off to see the clean result. To reduce unwanted effects on other areas, expand hue range to the left to narrow the active color spectrum. Raise luminance range to reduce the effect on shadow areas or darker patches. Increase saturation range slightly so the changes only affect stronger, more saturated colors. Now, check your before and after view. You'll see the grass looks more natural, consistent, and evenly green without altering other parts of the image. HSL gives you the big picture. Point color gives you precision. Combine both. That's the key to mastering color like a pro. Like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks so much for watching till the end.